Welcome back to Dark Europa 2. Goodbye, despair. We're right now in the class trial, and last time we solved the mystery about Twilight's in the murder case, Truth Edition. What happened? And now we are trying to figure out who the murder is. Right now, the prime suspect is Hiyoko. So let's get it rolling. Let's assume Hyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that also mean she's the one who tracked the body? True. If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes or skin would have been stained with blood. True. Makes sense. Huh? But when I saw her, she was. She was pristine, you son of a bitch. First, because you're a stupid moron. Yay! I told you I wasn't the killer. Well, you're still a prime suspect. Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven. Nope, not yet. I won't let you look down on me. Oh. We haven't decided that yet. Why are you going in this now? Hey, Fuyuhiko. Why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Okay, man. Calm down. Let's see, what do we have? Uh... If Mahiru didn't block the door, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and block the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block the then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and block the door with her body. Kyoko is the only killer I can think of. Nope. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. The fact that Hyoko was at the beach house can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? Yeah, uh, a few kills proof. Yeah. She's in so that piece. What, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. That's not possible, man. That is not possible since there's no water in the shower room. No. Washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Exactly. Out of order? Yep. There's a big fucking sign on the door. I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Doesn't matter in this case. Then maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she Put them back on! But we aren't even sure if she knows how to tie the stash. Are you saying I did something that perverted? That's not the right thing to think about right now, Hyoko. No, that should be impossible. I see! She can't dress herself, that's the thing. Listen to me, Fuyuhiko. Hyoko mentioned this before. I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono stash by myself. Which means, Kyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Yep, that's what she said. Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. Yep. I didn't smell. It only smelled a little. A little. Oh. Wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? Exactly. Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma would not have kept quiet. Nope, he wouldn't have. She would have probably killed her. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me. Wow. If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? There was none bl no blood because she didn't do anything with the corpse. Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place. 
Because I never touched Mahiro's body! Hey, if you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? What makes sense? But I don't think so. And we have Nekomaru. Because if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Kinda. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. True. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. You gotta understand, it makes sense. All right. I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. Oh. That actually sounds pretty cool. Nope. The hell it does. Eh. Hey, more importantly, I'm okay now, right? I kinda. It's okay that I'm not the killer? No, it's not okay that you're not the killer. I don't like you. Yeah, seems like it. Mm. See, I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono. And she was very, very kind. That's the truth. There's you. no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? Because you are you're have a bitch personality. Go back to the kids' table. We'll talk with you when we're done, okay, Yoko? Yoko, please don't cry. Oh. Right now. Not the right person to talk with her. Whoa. Don't excuse yourself for that one. More importantly, if you could. Behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Hyoko of being suspicious. Could be does he actually have something else in hey, mind? Hyoko, now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Would it be helpful? Even though you're not the killer, you still went to the beach house, right? Exactly. Like I said, it was a trap. Yeah. Yeah, I got that already. So, can you give us the details about that trap? Well, that will help us immensely. I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Hey, Nikomaru! Thank you for helping me once Hi. in a while. You want me to talk, huh? Yeah. Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. Okay. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier? Yeah, she never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Because she thought she was still suspicious for something and that's why she lied. Which makes her even worse as a person because if you are not guilty of anything, you should try to tell the truth. Damn it! So that was a lie? Right, Ibuki. Because I thought it'd be doubted if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. Not to say anything is different than telling people a lie to throw us off course. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? She accepted. I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, <laughs> Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. Uh -huh. You always have to say something snide. She does. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. Mm. A letter? Yeah, this one. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. What we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time is still the same at 2 p.m. Seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. Be bad if they start suspecting us for no reason, my hero Koizumi. Letter Hyoko received. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Yeah, it contradicts another evidence, and it is quite simple. It's a letter to my hero. I can prove it with this. 
Doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiro had? The, the dates are different. Uh, no, date, time, stamps are different. We change the place and time. I want you to come to Beach House at 2.30 p.m. Mahiro's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Hyoko's letter... Yeah, the same. Whoa! The mean times are off! Exactly. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. Yeah. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Yeah, it's a setup. Since you wrote it, what do you think? She didn't write it. Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? Meh. Nah. Safe to say the letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? No, wrong one. Damn it! Yeah, I made a mistake. It is ex actually the Hyoko not. They weren't forged. The My Hero. Both the letters were the truth. Damn it! Made that mistake. The killer must have forged both letters. Exactly. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. <sighs> that seems very likely. In fact. If you compare both letters... The only thing wrong is the time. Confirmed! Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Exactly. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you so I put this in your mailbox. This part. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Yep. And this part. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. Yep. So they completely tricked me. And then, Mahiru's... She's gone. Really? This is really terrible. No, it's not. Yeah, it's kind of terrible. I've offered to help so many times. But the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. Oh, god damn it. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. That's what you're worrying about, Nagito. Thank you. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. Yeah. We can just lightly punch him to death later. Okay. So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Yoko? What's most important is what happened afterwards. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep! What? Girl, seriously! Why'd you fall asleep? Makes no fucking sense. It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? Hey. That medicine, could it be? Did they get it from the drugstore? Would make sense. I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. Oh. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. Mm, would make sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hmm. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. And when I rushed out, I... I saw Mahiro's body, and that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. Right. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. Really scared that I couldn't help, but... Yeah! Makes sense for her to feel that way. The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. Yep. And for that reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiro, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hiyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Right, Gundam, you're good this time. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. Right. That's horrible. I didn't do anything wrong. And I was framed by Mahiru's killer. Happens. <laughs> you're not helpful anymore. Is it really 
okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. The only person who's questioning that right now is you and Peko. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Yeah. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? No. Nah. The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. Uh -huh. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. Okay. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. True. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. Ooh. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Yep. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Yeah. Seriously, which side are you on? He's insane. He's on the I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. Yeah. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Okay. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life, or even for victory. Nope. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying! Mm. Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Ooh. Yeah, we need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. True. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep! The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job! That's the right way! That's the splendid power of teamwork! Monokuma is a bit quiet right now. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? I'm not gonna let you have the outcome you want! Oh, he's asleep, okay. That makes sense that he's not answering anyway. Whoa, whoa. He's sleeping! Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. If you're stupid enough to trust each other, okay. the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. Well, you have the bitter truth. The bitter truth, that may be true, but even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even if what lies ahead is a cruel ending, the only thing we can do is move forward, because unless we re reveal who amongst us is my hero's true killer, there's no way we'll survive. And uh, that is the cut for the halftime of the class trial. So suspended. Well now. <laughs> um. Uh, th they don't make any sense. It's it's a weird discussion, actually. Let's be honest. It's a weird discussion that makes no sense. So we're skipping that one just for now. Hi, Monami. And my heart is throbbing like crazy right now. Okay. To think that the person who killed the wonderful Mahiru Kwezumi is in this room! Impossible! Impossible! That's so impossible! There's no way I can believe that! Ugh! I can't do anything! How annoying! But I'm just gonna believe in everyone! That's the least I can do! Everyone do your best! Don't lose to yourselves! And don't forget to save regularly! That's the best tip you can give me. Save regularly. Well, now that we've decided to believe Hyoko, now what? If the killer was luring Hyoko into a trap, then something that was used there might be a clue. Exactly. You mean the letter? No, it was probably the gummy. Yeah. Huh? Candy can be a clue? Yes, it can. Hey, when you woke up, was the gummy already there? Uh, now that you mention it, I feel like it wasn't. Just as I thought. Just as you thought? If the killer planted evidence while Hyoko was there, she would have thrown it away if she found it. So the killer was still there. Which means the gummy was placed inside the closet after Hyoko fled from the beach house? Nice deduction, Nikomaru. The killer returned to the scene of the crime after I left? The killer never they left. They wouldn't have to do something that troublesome as long as they hid somewhere within the beach house. I don't know why, but Gundam and Nekromaru are on fire this round. Impossible. There's nowhere to hide. I even glanced inside the shower room as I was running away, but there was nobody there. Then 
does that mean the killer came back? Hmm. I wonder. At any rate, the solution to that problem is connected to what really happened. That's what I think. Nice. I want to play a new game. Is that what you're thinking? So we prepared f the perfect product for you. We'll dive into your own brain and logically discern the mysterious answer from several questions called Logic Dive. During the Logic Dive, you will control a version of yourself created from an Im image within your brain. Your task is to reach a the goal of the final destination of the synapse course. To move sideways to the left, accelerate with that, break with that, RB to jump. Be fair as obstacles you will encounter as you progress through the course, so make sure you're familiar with the controls so you can reach the goal. On your journey, you will take damage every time you fall into a gap or bump into walls. Also, reaching a certain point, there will be a branching question in the course. The answer splits on the path you think is correct. Branching cuts will appear several times in one course, so please be careful. I recommend that you make good use of the break. It's my metal some advice for you. If you press star during, you can review the controls. Well then, good luck and have fun. Just right, there might be a very important problem. The killer tampered with evidence after Hyoko ran away from the... When did the killer arrive and depart from the beach house? Think. If I just focus and think about it, I'm sure I'll be able to find the answer. And that we will do in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to. Until the... Next time, there's only two things I can say anymore. Love, love, and pop.